Master, and welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6. Boy, I haven't played this game in a while, so yeah, let's jump right into it and hope the recording doesn't completely break. So, if you, if you don't remember last episode, we dealt, we did Winter Park, and I finished my my uh, playthrough of that while um off camera, and let's just say I died like three rounds later. So, okay, so we have some, so we have, so we did get some experience for our, uh, our things, so, hmm, okay, so for this one, I think I'm gonna, actually, that's really expensive, I think I'm gonna go triple shots, um, uh, Let's see what we can get with the bomb shooter. Uh, bomb shooter is a really big bomb. So I want to get Moab Assassin. That's a lot of experience, though. Attack shooter. Hmm, it shoots incredibly fast. I like this bottom path, so I'm going to go overdrive. Ice monkey. Um, can refreeze balloons that are already frozen. That's an interesting upgrade. But I think I'm going to save up for... Bigger things like Arctic Wind, Ice Shards, Glue Gunner, uh, Stronger Glue, slows down balloons even more, Stickier Glue, alright, okay. I'm gonna save up for the corrosive, the better corrosive stuff, Sniper Monkey, Night Vision Goggles, let's go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get shrapnel shot too. Bomb shooter. Oh, this is the primary monkeys. We want the military monkeys. So monkey sub submerge and support. Submerging target submerge targeting option permanently reveals camo balloons in its radius. These are both really good upgrades, but I think I'm gonna go triple guns because these guys can already detect camo with I like, just literally the place of. Uh, I do need to use Buccaneer more. That's one thing I gotta do. Monkey Ace is fine. Hello Pilot's fine. Mortar Monkey makes the shots more accurate. What I'm gonna do though is save up for for I guess. Um, but I do want Bernie stuff, so I guess I'll get that. Wizard Monkey Fireball, kind of useless. Because I really want this arcane gla blast. Laser blast. All right. Uh, laser blast. Okay, so these upgrades are pretty cool. Knockback is pretty cool. Ultra vision. Finally, something Super Monkey needed. The ability to see camos. Uh, Ninja monkey. Seeking shuriken. We'll go ahead and get this one. Uh, this is interesting. The Alchemist. Yeah, we already saw this one. He was in the, uh... I haven't used him yet. We also got a new hero last episode. Gwendolyn. So, yeah, let's try him out. And the new map has got updated a lot since I last played it. So, we'll play Candy Falls, the new map. Easy as usual. Alright, so this is an interesting map. You've got some spots here that... Oh. Hello. Didn't expect to see you here. There's more of you! I didn't realize there would be more of you. There's M on this. If I press M, will something happen? No? Guess not. That's interesting. Oh, there's more of you! Oh my god, there's so many of you. You're all over the place, you. Alright, so anyways. Let's get back to what we're doing. Gwendolyn's actually pretty expensive. We're gonna throw it on a tax shooter right here. So, yeah, we'll just jump right into it. Uh, faster shooting, faster shooting. Alright, let's go. This should be able to deal with it fairly easily. We get long, more attacks, even more attacks, which is really cheap, actually. We should be able to deal with these first few waves with this attack shooter, no problem. And I think the next balloon we'll get is Gwendolyn. We 
We can also get our so no, we're leaking balloons. Uh let's get a sub. Oh my god, there's so many of you! You're everywhere! <laughs> there's so many! There's one right here! They're everywhere! This is sub clean up. And now we'll save up for bundle. Oh my god, there's so many of you. Keep playing Blue C6 regularly and check for new updates. Maps, heroes, challenges, and other awesomeness. The maps aspect is definitely right. We're playing on this brand new map. Alright, let's throw our bundle in now. With enough fuel and air, everything burns. Interesting. Alright, let's go, Gwendolyn. Let's keep going. Alright, longer range. We we'll want that advanced intel. <laughs> so far the attacks the attack shooter seems to be taking care of everything. First greens, they're still dealing with them fairly well. Oh wait, it wasn't the first greens. I guess it's, no, it was the first yellows, I think. Alright, advanced intel time. What? We still have not had to use Bundle yet, which is absolutely crazy. The more you use certain upgrades, the more you will unlock for using it. Oh sweet, we can get overdrive now! And it shoots incredibly fast, I like that. Combined with even faster shooting, I bet it'll be a beast. Alright, so twin guns. I like I like how the sub just has his little arm pointed out whenever he's attacking. I just think that's a nice detail. Alright, I guess we could add a glue gunner. Just have him set close. Uh, bigger globs. Blue oh, soap. Blue splatter will be actually installed. Let's see what else we can get here. This is definitely a map where attack shooters would be great. Definitely a good map for attack shooters. We can add our Buccaneer, too. Oh my god, this guy's range is big. Wait. Do we gain XP just for him being on the field, or does he have to pop loads? Neat, we leveled up, we got some money. Oh, he just, ga he just gains money for being out on the field. Or gains experience for just being out on the field. It is dependent on how many things he pops. Uh, I think I'm gonna go faster shooting. I actually don't know what to go for. Adds a spray of five sharpened grapes. And then much longer range. Generates cash eats merchantman. Bottom bottom path seems to be a pretty good path. Although I like the middle path too. Monkey Pirates is a pretty good upgrade. Destroyer is meh. Destroyer's not that cool. I'm gonna go long range. Give him long range. Uh, let's go for an ace. Why not? Right here. Like right here, I'll be fine. Most coverage possible. Blue gunner has an upgrade. Uh, I'm going blue and solver. Monkey Buccaneer has another upgrade, and that is Grape Shot. I will take Grape Shot. Um, oh, we have no camo 
sound detection. Alright, let's put a ninja down. Alright, that, oh, that was close. Alright, let's put a ninja near the beginning. Monkey Ace has an upgrade. Centered path. New central flight, flight path for maximum map coverage. I'm gonna take that. I don't think I'm gonna use it. Because he already has pretty good coverage where he is right now. Discipline seeking shuriken. We still have not had to use Gwendolyn. They combine. Yeah, okay. Zebra balloons. Yes, I know. Distraction's a pretty good upgrade, too. I think I'm gonna save up for air burst starts. Ooh, he gets submerged support for this guy. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's get barb darts, too. And I think once I reach quit replay, I might just quit because I might just quit and move on to another path. Oh, here's where you be used, Gwendolyn. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get the hot shot upgrade. So, anyways. Uh, once I reach round 40, once I beat round 40, I might quit and move on to another map. Simply because you get heat to darts. Simply because we don't earn experience as fast in free play mode, is what they said. Yeah, I definitely could have picked a better spot for, uh, for the, uh, ooh, we could go Corrosive Blue. Maybe that'll, that, maybe that'll work. I do need to have enough power for the, uh, for the Moab around 40, though, so I don't think getting, uh, Ninja Monkey, uh, Sharp Shurikens, let's do it. Sharp Shurikens, if we can get a Super Monkey, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we're good on camos. Although, submergence support would be helpful for later, for camo. Yeah. Ninja Monkey, or no, it's it's not Ninja, it's Monkey Ace. Lots more darts. Shoots 12 darts at a time. Mine pops this guy. I'm only 47. Like, this tax shooter here has most of, has most of the pops. That, that tax shooter and the, uh... Alright, let's go ahead and throw it out of Super Monkey. Oh yeah, now we're going. Laser blasts, we can get. We can get. Pretty much the price of another Super Monkey. Better than just spamming Super Monkeys. Caltrops. Throws out spiked Caltrops onto the track nearby. That's an interesting upgrade right there. And counter espionage. All attacks strip camo from wounds they hit. That's also really good. The pink rush is... Alright. Okay, so we get the last two monkeys. They're, they're new ones. Uh, Alchemist or Druid? Harnessing powers of science and magic. Splashes wounds acid. Also wounds brews various potions with different effects. Versus Druid. Creates a blast of thorns for each attack. Upgrades can call forth powers of the jungle, storm, or wrath. I think I'm going to go for Druid. Very interesting description to me. Well, let's get laser boss. We get super range. Let's do that. Save 50, not bad. Still can't pop uh freaking uh leads. We barely we barely even need Gwendolyn at this point. We can get knockback now, but I'm gonna save up for plasma blasts and epic range. We have not thrown out a wizard yet, and I want to level him up for those extra stuff. Guided magic. Dense magic. So... 
Oh, here come the ceramics. Uh, and Rex Ron has two Rio Rainbow Blooms. Handled poorly, too. Could turn into many more. Uh, I think we are going to go another sub. We'll try the Druid next round. Spin guns. We could get triple darts. But I think airburst, another sub with airbursts will be uh, more worth our money. Or we could... First mob, class wound, next round. Don't say you weren't warned. Alright. We can get another upgrade for Super Monkey. And that is Epic Range. Why settle for Super when you could have Epic? I think I'm going to save up for Plasma Blast, though, simply because it's such a good upgrade. Moab! Alright, right, we did it! So, yeah, let's, let's quit that, and we'll move on to... Hearts and darts, that's a new track. Alright, so we'll move on to Tree Stump. How about this one? Interesting indeed. Are there any Easter eggs like in the last map? Doesn't seem like it. We'll start out with Dark Monkey. Actually, let's start out with the Druid we just got. I didn't turn on. Alright. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll have an apprentice too. We didn't throw out Gwendolyn yet, which is. So far, Druid's doing pretty good. We'll keep going until we have enough to throw down Gwendolyn. Oh lord, okay. Despite that shotgun-like thing, uh, <laughs> Druid can apparently not handle big groups of wounds. So I'll go ahead and get intense magic for this guy. Go ahead and upgrade him a bit. Strange thing enough, that last round was the only round Tax Shooter struggled on in that last map, so... Okay, same message again. Let's keep going. Until we have enough to put down Gwendolyn. And we have enough. Let's put her down. Um... Oh my god, she's huge. Um... This is a predicament. Uh, we'll go ahead and put her here. Enough fuel and air, everything burns. She shoots fire. She actually shoots pretty fast too. Oh, sweet, fired up. I don't know if this is the best position for her. I don't know. I kind of can't. Maybe yes. I should. Maybe I should actually move her up here. Maybe you can put her up here. With enough yes. Oh, that's... oh, well. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Alright, Apprentice and Druid have upgrades now. Uh, we can get Arcane Blast. And, uh, wait a minute. That's interesting. The, uh... The Apprentice's eyes change color depending on what path you're taking. Uh, let's go ahead and Druid, uh, Hard Thorns. Hard Thorns can pop two blooms each and pop frozen blooms. Shoots eight thorns per shot instead of five. Increases range by a large amount. I think I'm gonna go hard thorns. Oh, we have enough to get another upgrade. Uh, we'll go ahead and get uh, thorn swarm then. All right. All right. So we have a pretty tough druid now. Yeah. 
What next? Uh, well, there's no water on this map, so we can't use uh, Monkey Sub. Mm. Put out a boomerang, Monkey. Gwendolyn's got the best spot, though. So, I guess we'll put it right here. And hope for the best. Oh, never mind. We can just get long range rings. That still kind of sucks, though. Uh, uh, improve rings. Let's go ahead and get that, then. Let's, I think we should go for a bomb shooter next. We need to level that up a bit. You know, we need to find a way to deal with the, uh, the leads at some point. I don't remember what round they start on, but... Yeah, here, let's get a bomb shooter then. Put them right next to the track, too. Uh, let's see here. Frag bombs. I think frag bombs plus Moab Mauler would be best against the Moabs. So, uh, faster shooting. Extra range. Frag bombs are definitely helpful because also frag bombs also help it uh, beat Brack. Uh, black blooms, because now black blooms are vulnerable to frag bombs. And personally, I think cluster bombs is actually a downgrade, kind of, because it can't pop black blooms anymore. So I'm gonna go <laughs> the mod Muller path. Druid has another upgrade. Uh, Heart of Thunder unleashes regular blasts of fork lightning that arc from bloom to bloom. Thorns convert regrow blooms into normal blooms. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go with Heart of Thunder. That's a pretty cool path. And let's get a mortar, why not? Put that there. Oh no, I don't have camo detection. Ninja time! Get him, ninja. Okay, look, we need to get give this guy monkey sense. I forgot to do that. Alright, nice. We can get alchemist now. Uh, Shimmer. Dark magic reveals location of all nearby camo balloons permanently. That's very interesting. Versus Arcane Mastery. Attacks faster over a much longer range. So this is more for a support versus this is for uh, attacking. Interesting. And of course there's also Dragon's Breath. So Shimmer is, is pretty good. And it's good when you don't have uh, when you don't have access to submerging support. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get Arcane Mastery. Arcane Blast. Distraction. Oh yes, counter espionage. Might as well get that. We'll also go uh, counter espionage, and then ninja discipline. And let's go go ahead and get a couple crossbows, I guess. Or no, let's get let's yes, let's get a couple cross crossbows. I'm undecided on. Ah, oh, yeah, 
has purples. They're brand new and they're really cool. Yeah. Alright, razor sharp shots. Alright, we have a crossbow as much as we can do it now. And to save up a lot of experience for to get sharpshooter. Alright, drew it. Drew to the storm. Gusts of wind blow balloons off the track away from the exit. Interesting. So this is more of the, uh, so this is more of the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So Druid has wizard upgrades, apparently. Wizard used to have a thunder ability, a tornado ability, and apparently they don't have it anymore. So that sucks. Uh, we'll go ahead and get Druidic Reach, and if we have enough, we'll still get Druid to the Storm. I think I will use Alchemist next time. Ninja has an upgrade. Uh, double shot versus. I think I'm gonna go double shot because Bloom Jitsu is a really good upgrade. So I think get double shot Ninja. And let's see here. I want to use different monkeys every time. So also trade Boomerang uh, to Blaze, Blaze, Ricochet, Red Hot Rangs. I don't even know if I'll ever get to use uh, Flavor Cachet, but you know, just in case. Arcade Mastery, let's go ahead and get that. I've maxed out everything, so all my only choice right now is to... Actually, I technically haven't maxed out this, so I'll get, go ahead and get part of the oak. There we go. Now everything's maxed out. I'll have to place down the tower. I guess I'll throw it out on mortar. So, we'll go bigger blast, faster reload. Figure you're shooting an intersection multiple times enough to pop all the blooms. Nice, we leveled up, and we got a new hero, Striker Jones, the Artillery Commander. Alright, I think I'll have to try him out next game. And Moab time. Get out of here. Alright, how long have I been recording? If I haven't been recording for a while. Uh, oh, frick. Well, yeah, without further ado... Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content in the future, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.